when you're on the way, but I have set up now some wagons somewhere. Where do you even grab your wagons? So to speak. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure there's a wagon place. Here we go, they were hiding. But no, they never got around to doing any of mine because we're short on metal tools, as usual. If I look over to Alborg, I cannot confirm being short on metal tools. At least not too much. So what that does tell me is that uh, the metal tool guy over there is not cutting the mustard. So it's your center and you are east. I mean, you do 520, you'd think that's plenty. But you're a couple of crayers. I'm going to move you over to Rostock. And I'm going to say that from now on you're actually a carvel. I mean, I could make you two carvels, but the need for tools is not that dire. So yeah, I'm also going to tell you to go to Alberg. Look at the speed you go. Nine. Crazy. Still, give me the metal tools and get back to work. Now where was I? I meant mead. Sorry. Okay. Wow. That is... Oh shoot. I think I just told them to go away again. But yes, that's exactly what the problem was, and that's what killed so many people there. That and my uh, poor actions. People mover has space for more people, so I'm actually going to do some character assassination. He was successful. Do I get them here then? Where did they go? Or did it just hurt reputation and nothing else? I think it did. Oh well. Alright, at least it's recession now. Not state of emergency. But I still want that to clear up so I can bring those workers back. Jeez Harlem, you just don't know how to grow. Wasn't I making claims earlier about how, you know, if I wanted to, I could have multiple 50,000 cities. Let's just get you eating and keep you happy with extremely large pots of gold. Seems fine. Now Malma. You're still not upgrading your shipyard. Yes, Fed. This is what I'm going to ask for you, though. Or ask from you. I need these river cogs. Then I can finally deal with the inland, um, upriver guys. Could, I suppose, do the same here, but... We need these upgrades first. And I need the rest of these things. Unfortunately, that wall is still not built. Well, it's coming along. Takes about half a year to build a full wall anyway. Now I never did think how to deal with uh, Novgorod here, because honestly, without river cogs it's just going to take forever to build the damn place up. Oh dear, right. That's kind of good though, because that tells me that you are probably... No, you're still really angry, okay. But I can destroy these and get an extra free carvel. Not just free, extra free. Hunter and Hunter, get on it. Wow. So four pirate battles, because they're so so fun, the game wants us to have even more of them. I 
How many river cogs are you up to? You ordered them like two hours ago. Oh, I don't have any yet. They take quite a long time to make and I didn't really have the materials for many of them. This one's going to be disappointing, it's nothing but Snickers. I mean, I complain mercilessly. That's because there are really annoying parts to this game, but for all the annoying parts, I still do find that this game brings something to the table that no other games really do. Just building up this whole economy that you can see functioning is so nice. Also, large shipyard. Why am I not building up all those river cogs here? I'm going to be needing them. There we go, 10,000 capacity should be able to take care of some of these. And really what it'll probably be is... Um, since it is actually dealing with it city by city, I'll probably just get like 10 day demand for Novgorod through various goods and bring them over. I mean, I could do that for Novgorod. I would be a bit of a parasite towards Helsinki with that. But I guess it would kind of work. Alright, you know what? That's exactly what you can do there, Kev. Helsinki can get extra, and we'll use that to pretty much subsidize Novgorod. Which does mean that Helsinki's probably going to need to hold on to a few extra things. Since, you know, there's going to be a whole other city that's relying on it. But that's what we can do. Which means I'm going to need more... More warehouses. But more is more. And more warehouses <clears throat> require more security. Okay, so wildcard KevDev, what are you going to do? I need to give you a very specific trade route from Helsinki to uh, Novgorod. And for that I need to know Novgorod's 10-day demands. Okay, for most things it's pathetic, so we'll just play this by ear. When in Helsinki, I want you to load up on pretty much everything. From here, of course. What are you going to load? Well, we have a fairly good capacity here, so what's it going to be? A hundred, a hundred, a hundred. Fifty. And just like fifty of everything else, really. That's not going to be too much, is it? I mean, there are twenty good types. And I know you're never going to fill up on the last ones. But who knows, you might. You really might. There we go. So 50, 100, 200, 300, 400, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that looks good to me. And then when... Oh yeah, I also want you to unload everything. When you get to Novgorod... I want you to, again, deal with the, uh, the warehouse here. I want you to unload everything and load everything. There we go. Now get to it. And this will be the Supply Novgorod. Let's see what you do. Well, first we've got to deal with more of the super not fun pirates. I mean, this whole... Uh, I've said it before. This whole uh, fighting pirates thing is pretty cool. 
functions pretty well. I like the way that the more sailors you have, the faster you reload. Visually, it's quite impressive. You have a good amount of control over it all, but it's just so tedious. So endlessly tedious. Alright, good job. Back to Grun again with you, because we've got boats to ditch. Grun again actually wouldn't mind building up a new and larger wall. I'll be there. Since the city itself has to pay for it. Okay, admittedly I am the one giving the city to uh, to actually do it, but bear with me here. Means I don't really have any problems saying, yeah, by the way, build that wall. Better than any guard tower by a country mile. When are you getting rid of the prices? You probably mean princes, and that's not very possible. Some might say it's not possible at all. Jeez, this guy's fallen to neutral already. Hmm? Thought I saw some goods in the water. Aha! Not the bad. Well, no, pretty good goods, actually. Pretty damn good goods. Jeez, he's so angry. Why is he so angry? Probably because I destroyed his, uh, his fleets there. Alright, so Kevdev is on his way with only metal. And that's because there are too many goods in Helsinki. Sorry, that's not what I mean. Uh, all these goods are protected. So I can't actually use Kevdev in that way. Oh well, what I can do with Kevdev then is just edit the route so it gets to be another long pain in the rear end. Alborg will do the Helsinki thing. Helsinki will be removed. And it's just going to be a long and pretty arduous journey, but get to it, really. This game will go forever, says our love, pretty much. I'll probably sit here and play until I die. And I'd still not be finished. Although, you know, the groundwork is all done. It's really up to me where I want to take it from here. And what am I trying to work on right now? Well, there was the slight problem of Nefshed. They can have their people back. I kind of feel bad for what I did to them. They're going to go back into this, which is good, but I'm still not wanting them producing much hemp. I want them to produce mead. And that mead needs honey. Honey needs to come from Alberg. Which means, as ever, Scarborough needs to have... Yeah, there, there's the tricky bit. They're complaining about no bigger shipyard either. I agree, why don't you have a bigger shipyard? Head tax is too low right now. There you go, have your advancement. Allows me to build some bigger and better things. But it's not just Scarborough, it's Boston as well. Even Boston didn't advance. And then I can have my shipyards do even more for me. King of England is usually quite mad, but hey ho. Helsinki's got the plague. Okay. Okay, we finally got the first river cog. And that means wild card is no longer going to be a wild card. He's going to be uh, very specifically named for Novgorod. So wild card Kevdev will now be. Supply Nov Kevdev. 
And that's exactly what you do. Now that I have my new river cog, it's a lot flatter, isn't it? Uh, okay. What'll you be? Wild card. And I'm going to take someone else's name here. I should consult the list because I haven't looked at it for a while, but people have been putting in no names that are way, t way too long. Coinsberg isn't too bad, though. You're going to go to Alberg and you'll be instrumental in getting some more cities over to my side. Ah. Nice to see that money flood in, though. So what do we get? Well, we'll get the basics. And green is always good, right? And of course a touch of hemp, a touch of wool, just a touch of everything. I mean, there's no way they're going to have everything, so I will supply them with what they need. Oh, right, well. Pitch is, uh, it's not pitch. Mead is pretty damn hard to come by. I'm even taking a bunch of spices just to show how fancy I am. And then we're going to head off to... Well, Nimwagen is a bit crap, but probably Nimwagen anyway. By the way, Harlem. You've had a meal for the poor. And you're meant to be prosperous, so that daily increase needs to go up. Well, we could do Thorn, but Thorn doesn't really bring anything to the table. Cologne also doesn't bring much to the table, so onwards to Nimwagen we go. Where's our boat? Because this is just about getting ourselves established in more places. Ah, uh, Marvin. Yep, still at pers uh, not Persona, Patrician 4. If only I was on uh, Persona. Alright, where's this? Where am I even going? I'm getting lost in my own head here. I'm trying to get more of these, and otherwise... I want to make sure that the places I've set up are actually delivering their goods. You, for example, I mean, I set you up for metal goods. And great job you're doing with that. Fantastic job you're doing with that, even. But you don't produce a whole lot of them, which is fine. I mean, the demand for pelts is pretty low, but still. But still. The fact is, they should be going towards uh, Alborg right now. And that should be easy. I mean, it just takes a simple cog to do that f with. And that was uh, Flenberg to Alberg. Tool. Uh, I can't use a beeline unless it's honey. That would make sense. Umbrella, because an umbrella will stop a tool from falling on you. Tiny root. Takes no time at all. So load up on all the tools and then drop all the tools. Easy as that. And then I need one more to deal with the pelts as well. And this is the first one I've done that will actually be pelt. And what do I call you then? Hmm. I'll call you Fort Zombie. Nice. And yes, as ever, just go from there to here. Load all the pelts. 
Unload all the pelts. Done. Oh, but I didn't name you, and I should always give them names. That's not all, though. I swear I've set up other places like you, Stavanger. But why? You barely have any meat, because I think it keeps getting taken over by the, uh, the auto fleets. So what I'm learning is Stavanger needs a lot more everything. Population to pump out a lot more of that meat. But we'll get around to that when Stavanger has grown up. Otherwise, there's Ahus, and I dealt with you, if I recall well. No, I made you make all this pitch. But you're not really making enough pitch. I'm getting bundled down with clay here, though, so I can actually lighten clay production pretty heavily. And have them make pitch instead. Pitch and wood. So that's fine. It's good, even. There we go. There's a storm. It's going to mess up my boats. Because, you know, you get hurricanes all across this area. And more... Uh, the pirate from Ripen again. There's no stopping him. He's out of control. But he is a hulk, and I will always grab me a hulk. I can't bring this hulk back to Novgorod, though. So I'm going to have to stop off at good old Helsinki and say, here's a hulk. And I can always bring those goods to uh, Novgorod. Novgorod would love them. Now this is the same Novgorod who's going to enjoy an upswing because I finally bring some goods to market. Well, maybe not quite yet. Where's my counting house? You do have an administrator and you do sell. You just need to actually have a few more goods to sell. But we'll get there. We will get there. Cloth guy always seems to be out of work due to lack of sheep. But I can pretty much kill clay production here in favor of the others. Good. Very good. And again, I'm just going to pay this guy so he gets off my bloomin' back. somewhere you often see treasure, but I'll take it. Now what else was there? Uh, there was definitely something I was doing and I have forgotten it well. That's right, my river cog. A storm is raging in Groningen. You see that very not often. Crop production of, of grain and wine has slowed. Well, okay. I mean, I don't produce it, but that's fine. Coinsburg, however... I keep forgetting this place. I even set it up. Uh, take some money. Advance. Upgrade. That aside though, it has a lot of wine and I'm not spreading that wine around. I could uh, have a have a bunch sent over to uh, to go to Alberg and get it there. Now the production of wine from Queensburg it's not that high, but then I don't have a lot of people in Queensburg. It's not enough to keep everybody supplied, though. 
I mean, that's a freebie. I'm going to stop taking these missions after a while because uh, 400,000 stops being a significant amount of money when you're rolling in the 30 millions. But until that point, Coinsburg needs more people for more wine. Because my current Hansa demands about 104 wine producing uh, businesses if it wants to be happy. I mean, whoever gets to be happy. Housing occupancy could also stand to be better, but the wall is still uh, getting in our way there. It's alright though, not too concerned. The point is though, we only produce 18 or so per day. The production of wine is super slow. I think it's like 0.1, uh, sorry, 0.5 wine per, uh, per day per business. Still, this is going to be the Konsberg to Alberg wine. And we're going to call you the T-Virus. Makes sense. Well, no, wine is uh, purple, so it should be the G-Virus. So go there and take all the wine. Go there. Oh, go there and unload all the wine. Now if you're wondering why I'm not using my little umlets, it's because I don't have them. Not on this keyboard. I speak the Queen's English. So the wine will come in. It's just the meat that I don't feel is coming in fast enough. Not that Stavanger produces much meat. In fact, it's all getting used in the auto trade. That's why I'm not pushing for it right now. Oh boy. I drink your dollars. I got attacked. And where is that? Aha. Uh -huh. Call a ship Novgorod matters, Jake. Uh, that's too big. In this department, we go by the book. Okay, good. And that means Alberg has everything except mead, clothes, and spices. The mead should be coming in from here, but that would require an actual constant production of it, and I don't think we really have that yet. And I still need more honey. Novgorod has started uh, making its big wall, which is good, and I have more beekeepers, also good. Now, where's that fleet of mine? So my problem with Nimwagen is that I'm not very popular. Let's try and fix that. Close. Very close. Huh, no, actually close enough. I can join. Excellent. And I can get production rights here, sure. It's good enough to build myself a count. Oh man, we hit the bug again. I want to hear him speak though. So once again, we're going to save and quit. Because I love hearing my competitors complain when I force them to uh, burn down their own production plants and when I keep moving on in. Four million to join the guild. Oh yes. Nobody said it would be easy. Quite the opposite.
How in the world is it almost 10 p.m.? Jinx, this has been going on for ages. Persona stream when? That's Callum's thing. Callaw does the Persona and SMT 